I was younger, my mom, well, my mom played college basketball, and uh, my mom and my uncle were the ones who taught me how to play basketball, and I fell in love with the game. Um, I fell in love with competition. Um, that's the main thing, just competition, winning, obviously, but I think as long as you compete, you know, that, that's what drives the love. Um, you know, if it wasn't going to be the NBA, uh, I feel like the Euro League is, you know, the, the second best league, you know, right behind the NBA, and it's not not far, as you can tell. There's every sing every single season. There's more and more NBA guys coming over. Um, you know, many different clubs that are that are really really good. So, um, you know, that's the reason why I came to Fenerbahce. Um, it's the best club in Europe. Um, can't complain. The fans, teammates, staff, everybody's great. So. That's the reason why I came here. My rookie season was the lockout year. Um, it was really interesting because um, we played 66 games in a really, really short amount of time. So it was, I think it was the only time in NBA history where we played back to back to back games. Yeah. Um, but it was interesting. It was my first time playing against, you know, the Miami Heat, for example, it was the first year that, that uh, it was the big three with LeBron and uh, Chris Bosh and D Wade and you know it's like when you're when you're a little kid and you're 10, 12 years old and you, you finally get to the NBA and um, you're playing against people that you grew up watching. You know I think those are the memories that you always have. Um, I still remember my first game, I played the Thunder, uh, the day after Christmas in 2011. So um, it's when I had Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Kevin Durant, um, Ibaka. You know there's a bunch of guys that um, I still remember back back then. But it was an interesting time and. You always have those memories. Oh man, I don't think there's any fans uh, in the NBA, honestly, that, that are like uh, the Turkish fans, especially Fenerbahce. Um, yeah, I played on five, six different teams in the NBA. Um, yeah, I, I would say the Warriors and you know, Toronto Raptors, obviously, with them winning the championship. But even before then, uh, they have great fans. But you know, there's a select few NBA teams that have great fans. Um, but you know you can go around Europe, all around. There's, there's the fans here are crazy, you know, and you know, I think that's what makes you play a little bit harder as well. Oh, uh, it was interesting, you know. Um, I, I, I had previously been to China one time with the NBA when I was with the Sacramento Kings. Uh, we played two friendly games out there, um, but you know it was a great experience. You know, I, I played in three of the top leagues all around the world, the NBA, EuroLeague, the CBA, um, you know, they're, they're all great leagues in their own way. Um, you know, it's, it's really far from home, but at the end of the day, you, you, you get to learn about yourself, you know, when you're out, um, out on a different side of the world, learning the, learning the culture. Um, I think that just makes you all a well-rounded basketball player and in person as well. I mean, it's really important. You know, um, it's it's crazy because my first year in the NBA was was the lockout. You know, and it's where you have the owners and you have the players uh, on t two different pages. You know, and you know it was it's just interesting when I'm 19 years old and I first come into the NBA and that's what it is. And uh, you know, you just want to you just want to you want to help, man. You want to help I mean, when you have players. Uh, you know, you have a players association like the MVPA. I've seen it before, um, and it's great what the what Europe is doing with the ELPA. You know, you got to have a players association.